What's up everyone? So today is going to be another kayak adventure day. Got the kayak again from the same place for 300 pesos for about 5-6 hours pretty much the, the full day again. And this time we're going to be going to a few different beaches. So we're going to pass the beaches that we did last time, the three beaches, but we're going to go to some that are even further. I think there's like two or three uh, other beaches that we haven't been to. So yeah, that's the, the plan and the weather looks awesome. So yeah, I think it's going to be an amazing day once again. So we're about halfway now, we've just gone through that little like archway that we went through last time. A lot more tiring today because we're not stopping and also this kayak seems a bit weird. It seems to turn a lot more than uh, the last one on its own. It's kind of hard to keep it straight. That is uh, Papaya Beach which is our favourite so far. We've got Seven Commando Beach and the beaches that we're going to uh, around that corner on the other side. So probably got about 10-15 minutes left I think. Finally. Yay. <laughs> so this first stop is Seven Commando Beach. We were thinking of coming here on the way back, but since we're tired, we thought we might as well have a break here before we go on to the next few beaches. Looks amazing here though, just like all the beaches around here. So on this one we got these little huts. This one has a nice little doggo. What have you got in your mouth? What is that? What's he got in there? Hey! <laughs> oh, that's a nice doggo. Yeah, so this is cool. We can stay in here then, right? For yeah. shade. Mm -hmm. I might as well go up this thing. Whoa. So I didn't mention, but we've actually been here before, right? Yeah, before the lockdown, we came here. It was, I think, one th the day before the lockdown, we did a boat tour. What tour is it? Uh, tour A. Tour A. Tour A and the last stop was this beach and yes. we loved it. Seven Commando Beach. So I think this is the only one of these beaches on, on this coast here that is part of a island hopping tour. And that's why they have all these huts because you can sit here and have food. Usually there's a restaurant over there so I think we got a few drinks last time as well. Beautiful spot. Here we go, this is what he was munching on. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> All right, get in that beautiful water ASAP. Like uh, this boat has a bunch of Filipino workers, maybe, maybe doing some construction on the beach. I don't know. There's a big fancy resort that way, so yeah, I think they're probably working there. Here comes the uh, the crew. Whoa, everybody here! I think dogs know about jumping places because we don't approach them; they come to us. Look at this. 
How many we got here? We got one, two, three. This other one appeared. <laughs> Take a quick look here behind before we head out. Loads of coconuts everywhere here on the floor. This might be the coolest basketball court that I've ever seen. <laughs> look at that net though. Even the, the rocks back here look awesome. Look at these trees like growing out of them. It's crazy how trees grow out of these things all over the place. So just behind that rock there is a papaya beach, but there's no way to, to walk through, so only going around in the water. It's funny, so some of those, dog, those dogs there are the same ones that we saw on uh, papaya beach. So I asked one of the guys how they got here, and he said they actually swim around. Because I thought maybe they walked up these cliffs somehow, but no, he said they swim. <laughs> really good swimmers, and it's not that close. All right, should we head to the next beach? Yep. So the next beach, pretty sketchy ride, right? At some point, uh, the kayak had a lot of water, so we had to come back to the other beach to, to take <laughs> the water off the, out of the kayak. But we were like, oh my god, are we, are we sinking? <laughs> Around this corner here, there's loads of waves, but now this part's actually okay. We're kind of protected by the rocks there. Very small beach here, though. This is called Ipil Ipil 2. The other beach around there is Ipil Ipil, so this is like the second one. You get some different views from here, so that's Kadlau Island there, and that is Helicopter Island. And it looks like here is actually a place you can usually stay. Seems to be uh, some huts here. This would be a really nice beach to, to stay if it was open. So I guess this is, uh, yeah, usually a resort. Check that out, loads of little huts. Which is your favorite on the mainland of El Nido so far? Uh, I think Papaya Beach is still my favorite. Yeah, I think I have to agree. That's where we went in the last kayak video if you haven't seen it already. But they're all incredible, right? Yeah, Even this one. one. Is nice too. The view is awesome. A bit further around that corner, I think about 10 minutes that way, is El Nido Town. We wanted to rent the kayak from there because it's closer to get here, but for some reason they're not letting you rent kayaks there. I think because they think people might do the island hop into Kadlau. Yeah, that meant we had to rent it from Karong Karong instead, but yeah, not too bad. But it's pretty far. I think uh, once we go to the next beach, it might take, I don't know, like 50 minutes to an hour to get all the way back to, to Karong Karong. Good day of exercise.
Kyle's leaving me now. I decided to stay on this private island alone. See you in a week's time, Carol. All right, bye. All right, we're in. Off to the next and final beach, that way. Here we go, Ipil, Ipil Beach, number one. So this beach is kind of similar to the last one where you have like the, the big rocks and stuff on the beach. But this one doesn't seem to have any huts or anything, at least not at this part. So if you look back there, it's just the, yeah, the nature and stuff. No, no huts, no restaurants. And this might be one of the best views we have ever seen of Kadlao. Look at that. You can even see all the little beaches on Kadlao Island. So close right now. I oh, know, here comes the dogs. They're barking though. Are these angry dogs or what? <laughs> okay, we finally met some not very friendly dogs. Alright, well I guess we won't head that way. Now they seem all relaxed, what the hell? <laughs> not all beach dogs are friendly then. No. Maybe they were trained to be like that, so I don't know, maybe there's a private property there. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we're here right now and they're not bothering us anymore. They're right here, so... Yeah, maybe they'll leave us alone. They seem to be going away. Got a nice breeze on this side also. So far, it's never really been windy in El Nido, so it's always very hot. But yeah, here's a, a lot cooler. A lot of you guys always ask me what drone I fly with, so it's this one here. As you can see, it's very small and light. It's like the, the size of my hand. So yeah, I've always been using this for almost over a year now, I think. And uh, yeah, it's a good drone. Oh, he's not back again. Anyway, it's a, it's a good drone. I personally wouldn't buy it again, though. It has loads of uh, signal issues. It uses Wi-Fi signal and there's loads of interference. The last drone that I had that um, fell in the ocean, that used a radio signal, the Mavic Pro, and that was so much better. It never disconnected or anything. This one disconnects all the time. So even during the last drone sequence, probably disconnected about 10 times. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a last flight now of the, the day, see how it looks around here. Hopefully uh, the dogs don't go mental with the drone. <laughs> what have you got there? Look at Carol, she just goes straight on the attack. No, I just found it. I thought I thought it was a, a shell, but it's Oh, I thought it was to throw at the dogs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Angry Carol. <laughs>
Neither is just too beautiful, right? The more and more you explore. Yeah, I think the town is a bit run down. Yeah, it's a bit scruffy. Yeah, but the nature when you go to the boat tours and you go to the islands, the beaches, it's just too good to be true. Yeah, it's mind blowing everywhere. I don't know if you can see out there, that's definitely rain and that cloud does not look good at all. So the last thing me and Carol want is to be getting some rainstorm on the kayak and have to kayak about an hour back home. That might happen anyway, but we'll see. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. For us, this is just as enjoyable as doing the island hopping tour. So even though we don't have the island hopping tours available right now because of coronavirus, to me, this is just as good uh, being lost in paradise like this. So yeah, drop a like on the video to help support us. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one.